So in 2024, a lot of things will happen real time, uh, regulations enforcing new industries to actually open APIs. We will have also AI generated APIs on documentation, on uh, definitions, and on even publishing APIs. So, so many things will be happening on the whole API management stack, and I'm really excited about that for 2024. I think the API space has been reinvigorated by all of the hype around AI and I'm, I'm incredibly interested to see what will happen there because for me AI will be more useful when it uses APIs properly and I'm excited to see lots of work happening in the standardization and specification space and that will go a long way to taming the AI beast. So 2024, specifications for taming AI. It's going to be diverse, so everything from graphical to quantum APIs, but it's also going to focus on right API, not the right way of doing API. So I think we will see a lot more federation in API management and a lot more of generative AI as well. Well, not so much API management, but APIs as, as a whole. I've been seeing lots of new companies launching API products. And I think the productization of APIs is going to be a big thing in the next year, in 2024. I'm looking forward to more on generative AI and how it's going to be integrated with APIs and how APIs are going to use them. I'm also looking forward to more and better tooling for the future as well. I think it's going to be great in 2024. Well, I think most people are going to be talking about AI, yes, yes, everyone's very excited about AIs, but something I'm personally excited about is developer experience. People are finally beyond initial API reference and having documentation and thinking about what's next, actually measuring and optimizing onboarding. So developer experience and developer collaboration. So uh, for 2024, I'm really interested to see um, generative AI and how it helps API, how it enables API design, also how it enables from the consumption perspective developer portals to better serve consumers, and also internally how it helps internal documentation and, and API platform teams to help API teams build APIs. I've seen two trends here that I hadn't seen before. The first one is the real emergence of GitOps and uh, the integration of Git and technology for improving API management. That's been huge. And people are really starting to pay attention to APIs as products. And I think there's, there's a lot more product managers and a lot more business people here. And they're starting to see that they need things to work with that the developers have been having historically, but they need something different. So those are my two trends, API products and GitOps. I think we're coming out of the hype cycle of, um, of microservice, all the things, and starting to move back, not necessarily to the one monolith, but hopefully we're finding a more like balanced middle ground somewhere. The things that really excite me about API security and digital identity management 2024 is decentralized identity and how that will change the paradigm of how we work with digital identity next year and the years after. Yeah, so the future for us for API security is applying GitOps to API security across your environments. That's like a really big thing going on right now. I think in 2023 we have seen how APIs are used for calling AI models, but in the future we'll see more AI models calling APIs. Yeah, so what I would like to see in 2024 is standard bodies, organizations define standards and especially API standards to take care about user experience in their API design and how they provide APIs. Yeah, it's a good question. To me, I think uh, one of the most interesting subjects is the ability to manage both synchronous and asynchronous API from one unified platform having the ability to target different kind of consumer, but not complexifying the ecosystem. I think that's a thing for uh, the next few years. So I think the shift towards uh, enterprise organizations really thinking about their API programs more strategically through the boom of a volume of services available and trying to ultimately drive revenue through their API programs via API marketplaces is really the most interesting thing for me. Even driven, I love it. I work on asking API projects, so obviously I'm biased, but having all this conversation, seeing even driven track, asking API track, that's the future. 
Uh, I think that in 2024 we have to to look at a new way to expose the API because first, I think that in the next year we have to, uh, to have a reflection of how we can expose API for AI for new robots who are consuming the, the services and I think it's a new challenge for the next year. Well, I think we've got so many specs being used everywhere. I'm really excited about being able to find more of them, but also things like workflows will really drive the usage of lots of APIs together. So that's a new step. Um, lots of great, interesting products going to come from that, I think. I think the biggest thing we've seen is the, the um, part of API monetization in 2023, especially because of the year of efficiency. So how do you turn those investments into your APIs into a revenue center at the business versus a cost center? And I'm really excited to see how that continues in 2024 with all the stuff around usage billing and monetization. All right, so I think there are many challenges we are starting to face with APIs. Started with security, maybe with operations also, observability, user experience. I, see, I think what we're going to see is increasing number of problems with APIs, and maybe one recommendation I would make is to have more observability in place. Uh, not going to fix the problems, but it's going to give us awareness of them. I think the future belongs to those which are able to provide a marketplace with digital API products. The reason why products will provide value is also because the arrival of artificial intelligence that need that data to be able to create new use cases for the future, a new business model. 2034 is going to be great. There's going to be a consolidation on the Federation of API Gateways. We will see control planes that are going to become standard for managing all the different uh, API gateways available. The lock of the, of the rings, one to just rule them all. I think in 2024, we're going to have to take API security really seriously. The breaches just keep happening, and it's time for us to really elevate our game around securing these APIs.